Hello everyone, photographer Andre Designs here with a new retouch video and today we'll be editing an image that I did a behind the scenes for last week so if you have missed it please go ahead and check out the behind the scenes it's in the link in the it's in the description actually it's my previous video <laughs> so you should see that all right so yeah let's get right to the editing but first let me go to the settings real quick and I was using the Sony a7 III, I was using the 28-75mm f2.8 lens. My shutter speed was 1 over 88 of a second, 2.8. Uh, my ISO was 100. I was also using a flash. I was using this, the Godox V1S. Hopefully that is in focus, I don't know, but yeah, hopefully it is. And um, yeah, so... It was a great shoot. Most of you guys know that I always shoot natural light, but I just felt like I wanted to shoot with light because it was midday, I believe it was. So, so let's get right to the editing. First thing I'm going to do, I'm going to create a duplicate, and then I'm just going to remove the blemishes from the skin. I'll be using the patch tool for the removal of the blemishes, and I'm just going to do this. Make a selection, and then I'm going to drag it over to a clean area. Alright, so that's what I'll be doing for everything else that needs to be removed. And you can use whatever tool that works for you. I rather using this tool. Uh, you can use a clone stamp tool, you can use the healing brush tool, whatever actually works for you. But I love to use the patch tool. So all I'm doing, I'm just removing uh, the blemishes, things that I don't want in on the image um, yeah so just gonna remove some more this is a powerful tool trust me and all I'm doing is just finding a clean area to replace with the area I don't want that's all I'm doing all right so I'm going to zoom out. All right. So if you want to know what tablet I'm using, you can always go to the description. For example, let me just pull this over here and show you guys what I mean. So let's say you're on this video here. This is the video I did last go week. Ahead. You come down here, go to more, and then you know, come down to where it says editing. And here you'll see the tablet I'm using. It's for $73, so you can buy this one. Or if you want to get the more expensive one, I mean, I guess you can do that, but not me. So, let's get right to the editing again. All right, good. So, I'm going to come here to the um, model's leg. I'm going to make some more adjustments. All right. good some more so you want to ensure that you remove as much as possible so when you're doing your frequency separation you do not have anything to worry about so I'm gonna remove these veins all right so that looks good you see right here perfect all right, so I don't see anything else I need to remove. So the next step now is to do, wait, I could still do something right here. All right, good. So the next step is to do the frequent separation, right? So what I'm gonna do is to come here and I'm gonna click frequent separation. I'm going to use a radius of 6.4 because I just like the radius 6.4 because it blurs the skin, but I just like 6.4 you can use 10 or 15 if you wish but I like 6.4 so I'm gonna press ok I'm gonna go down here to the low um, layer and then I'm gonna zoom the image up and then I'm gonna come over here to the mixer brush the mixer brush is normally nested on the brushes but I took mine out because I'm always using it so once you hit the mixer brush let's say you're using a mixer brush for the very first time once you um, come on the mixer brush, you're gonna see where there's a, a color right here. And what you need to do is to press this um, tool right here, then change your wet to um, 2%. I think I can zoom this in. 
wait ah uh, this is not working i think i had a shortcut there for the zoom but i guess that's not it or maybe it's insert oh it's insert good so your wet is at two percent and everything else here remains the same and ensure that you do not have sample all layers on yeah good so now we're going to come over here back to the low layer and then i'm going to lower my brush size by using the bracket you can use the left and right bracket on your keyboard i'm getting messages this is a problem i always have i always um have my phone running and I always be checking messages while I'm editing and that's not good all right so just go lower it and then what you're gonna do once you're zoomed up you want to ensure that when you're using the mixer brush right now this is all I'm doing just going back and forth and what I'm doing is blending out the skin all right so once you do this with a mixer brush it becomes one what you want to ensure though is that when you're mixing you do not want to mix the dark area with the light area you mix them separately all right so let's look at the before and after for that so far so before and after just a sort of change guys you do not want your images to look real um serial you want them to look realistic as possible so that's what i'm doing so i'm not applying too much uh mixing at one location because i don't want it to look too fake and the good thing about the mixer brush is that it it retains it you know it doesn't look that fake <laughs> it's soft on the skin but you can still see where it looks realistic and that's what you want to aim for all the time you do not the aim of your images is not to get them looking like plastic trust me all right so that's all i'm doing uh, this is highlighted so i'm just highlighting it then get it small and do the shaded area all right so i'm gonna go under the model's neck and i'm gonna do the same thing all i'm doing is brushing that's it all right so i still see where i need to do some work there so i'm going to go to the high frequency layer i'm going to press s for the clone stomp tool ensure that my flow is at 100 percent and the opacity is at 100 percent as well i'm just going to sample right here and then i'm just going to okay i'm not sure what's happening here so I have something that is not, oh, I have all layers selected. No, I need to have current layer selected. So Alt, Select, and then Paint. Good. So what I'm trying to do, I'm trying to match everything. Good. Look at the before and after for that, before and after. All right, perfect. So what I need to do now is to, I think I still need to do some work here. I'm going to get the patch tool i'm gonna to press j i'm just gonna smooth out here a little bit so i'm just getting rid of some of the um getting rid of some of the marks on the skin after doing the freaking separation that looks good so i'm gonna come right here now and do the same thing with the freaking separation so i'm gonna to go to the low frequency layer and you can download the frequency separation action by using the link in the description as well so you can look for that under this video <laughs> all right so i'm on the low um layer right now and i'm gonna go to the um mixer brush and i'm gonna do the same thing right here just mix so if you realize right here is light is highlighted right here is dark and right here is highlighted so i'm doing them different separately so I'm going to zoom out real quick and I'm going to come over here. I'm going to do the same thing. So that's all I'm doing. Just mix. And again, you do not want to do too much mixing at one section of the skin. Try to ensure that the entire skin is blended. Sometimes you do not necessarily have to add any mixing to a particular section of the skin. But for me, I just like to do 
I'm, I'm extra. I'm always doing everything just to ensure that everything is on the same level. But most times, you do not need to do the entire body. But better be safe than sorry. <laughs> all right good so i think i am done let's look at the before and after for everything let me just close that so what i'm going to do is hold on on the alt key and then i'm going to press the i right here and then that's the before that's the after before and after good so the next step now is to press Control shift alt e to create a duplicate Control j to create a copy of the duplicate all right and then i'm going to go to camera raw so i'm going to come right here to filter then camera raw and basically what i'll be doing right now is to do what i'll be doing right now is color grading so let's get right to the first thing i'm going to do is press auto i always want to see what photoshop is going to do to the image itself so auto looks good so i'm going to keep it so now i'm going to make some adjustments i'm not going to do anything here yet i'm going to come over here to the collaboration that's my favorite tool when I come down here, when I go to collaboration, I go to the uh, primary blue and I just adjust it. So the primary blue, it what I, I just love how it changes the model's skin or the subject's skin. So that looks good. Let's look at a before and after real quick. So press the Y here. So after pressing auto and then playing with the uh, primary blue, this is what I get. So I like that. So I'm going to come here to the... Uh, what's they call this again the basic and I'm just gonna make some adjustment here. I'm gonna come to the D haze uh, So the D haze is doing a great job in the background if you look right here You'll see look right there look right there good and then I'm gonna bring up the shadows because Using the D haze it kind it kind of darkened the model uh, the model looks a little bit uh, Warm so I'm gonna tone it down a little bit. So I'm gonna come here to HSL and then I'm going to play with the orange because the orange is what uh, adjusts the color or the, the tone of the model's skin. I'm going to play with the yellow a little bit. The yellow is going to change everything. I think I need to, let me see. So this changed the color of the sky, which I don't want that. So I'm going to press zero. I'm going to go back to the collaboration screen and I'm going to pull back some of the... Uh, the skin tone color. Six. I think I may want to do four minus four and then I still want to get back some of the natural look let me play with the primary color here and see what it does uh, I think I like this it it gives me some red right here which is good play with the till tint shadow I'm gonna put back this at zero and then I'm going to go back to the basic and then I'm going to take down the temperature a little bit to about minus six. I think I like that. I think I like the skin tone that I'm getting right here. What do you think? Do you like the skin tone? Okay. All right. So I'm going to press OK because I like what I did. And then I'm just going to zoom out. That looks good. So the next step now is to crop the image because I want this image to be uploaded to Instagram. So I'm going to crop it to the portrait size for Instagram. How to do that, you're going to come over here to where it says crop. And then you're going to change this to five, four to five ratio, which is eight by 10. And then I'm going to press, I'm just going to line it up a little bit more like that. I'm going to get rid of the bottle that's right there. So let's do that and press enter. So I'm done that is it I do not think there's anything else I need to do maybe add some more colors to it so I'm gonna come over here to my action I'm gonna add some blue in the uh, image and then I'm gonna come here to the color lookup do something again uh, color lookup looks okay but I think I'm gonna lower the opacity a little bit to about that good I'm gonna show you the before and after what's this okay I can close this and then I'm going to do a before and after. I'm going to go to vertical up for the arrange. And then I'm going to set this like that. And then this like that. All right, so this is going to be the before and that's the after. So yeah, 
that is it for the image i mean there's nothing else i need to do <laughs> this is it i'm done and i think i want to start shooting with light again because it's nice <laughs> but it was it was really hot the sun was right above us so i had to shoot with light because i never wanted to shoot and the background is too washed out so yeah so guys thank you for watching this uh retouch video if you learned anything from it give me a thumbs up comment in the air in the comment area and if there's any type of video you want me to do guys just tell me and i'll do it all right thank you guys for watching have a good one bye bye